In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to share documents. So the first thing you'll need to do is create the document and give it a name. So I created one called Sharing Documents. And then you can look in the top right corner right below your account name and you'll see the blue Share button. When I click on that, it's going to give me a pop-up box here with two different ways to share it. One is sharing with the link. One is sharing by entering people's email addresses. The difference between these two is if I were to copy this link and send it out to my entire staff in an email, they will have access to this document through that link only. So if they ever need to access that document again, they're going to have to do that by clicking on that link. If I add their individual email addresses in here and share it by that way, then it's going to put this document in their Google Drive under the Shared With Me folder. So if this is a document that they're going to be using over and over, this is probably the easier way for them to access it rather than having to find that email or to bookmark that link. So once you've decided which way is going to be easier for you or, or better for this specific document, um, you're going to make some final um, selections before you actually share it. So if I'm sharing with the link, there's a little drop-down menu here that says anyone with the link can view. Right now it's set so that anybody that I send this link to will have access to it and they can see it, so they can view it only. There is a more option down here, so we're going to look at all of the different choices you have. So right now it's set to anyone with the link. You can also set it to public on the web. Um, with these two, there is no sign-in required. Anybody that has the link will be able to um, view the document or edit the document or comment on the document, depending on how you have it set up down here. The next two down below here that say Washington County Public Schools are going to require the user to log in with their WCPS user, uh, with their Google account. So if you're sharing it with employees in WCPS, these two are fine they'll be able to access by logging in. If you wanted to share this document with uh, the general public or with parents, you're going to want to use one of these two so they don't have to have a WCPS account. Uh, this setting down here, off with specific people, that's the next option we're going to look at right now. So um, I'll set it as for Washington County Public Schools, anyone with the link can view. If I click Save, I can just send this link out in an email and anyone in WCPS that has the link will be able to view that document. Now, if I wanted to share it with individual people, I'm going to use this box down below, and I can just type in their 53 or their last name, and it should find it if they're a WCPS employee. Um, if you have uh, someone else's Gmail account that's not in WCPS, you can still share it with them using this, this route. Um, if it is a WCPS employee, you might notice that there are two different names, two different Google accounts. You just want to make sure you're selecting the WCPS account, not the WCBOE account. So I'll select that account, and then here you can change your settings. Do I want this person to be able to edit, comment, or view only? So I want them to edit so we can collaborate. They'll be able to add things and delete things and move things around. Um, you can add a little note here. And this will show up in an email in their regular WCPS email account telling them that you have a document shared with them. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about what you can do once you have actually shared a document.